From a wheel loader that got stuck on the tracks in Redding, California, and an impatient trucker in Buenos Aires who thought he could beat the train, to a collision in the Czech Republic that made this truck's trailer disappear, and much more. Here are some of the craziest train versus truck moments caught on camera. Redding is a small city along the Sacramento River in Northern California. It's home to about 90,000 people and one local cameraman who got the shot of his life. On October 4th of 2023, a local man was crossing the intersection at Breslauer and Highway 273. It's a pretty busy area and cars have to be extra weary of trains heading north and south. Our cameraman noticed a tractor trailer had bottomed out on the raised tracks. All he and the young trucker could do was watch as the train came roaring through. Oh my God, this is going to be interesting. Holy f are you kidding me right now? are supposed to know how much weight they're hauling. Look how close the tractor comes to skidding onto Highway 273. A few cars are forced to veer out of the way as the train roars by. Police said the 25-year-old trucker did everything he could to free his trailer from the tracks. It was never going to budge. As you can see, the collision caused extensive damage to the crossing arm controls. Witnesses said the truck had been there for a while, but nobody thought to call Union Pacific Railroad. If they had, the train could have been rerouted or applied its brakes miles ahead of time. Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. Home to roughly 13.8 million people, Buenos Aires is the fifth most populated metro area in the Americas. They're known for their rich culture and eclectic European architecture. But some areas aren't as glamorous. Take this railroad crossing, for example. On September 6th of 2023, a truck driver thought he could beat an oncoming train across the tracks. He learned the hard way why you should always obey railroad crossing signals. Not only does this guy disregard the crossing signal, he swerves into the wrong lane to get around the gray van. He's lucky the cab made it across the tracks and the train only obliterated the truck bed. Sparks fly as the train slams on its brakes. It takes the entire length of the train to finally stop. By then, the truck driver is already crawling out of his window. By some miracle, he starts walking away. You can tell he's shaken up, but the accident didn't cause any serious injuries. According to local reports, the train engineer hurt his knees and a few passengers suffered minor injuries, likely from the sudden jerk when the train hit the truck. It doesn't matter where you're going or how late you are, you should always obey railroad crossing signs. Friedek Mistek is a historical city in the Eastern Czech Republic. On December 11th of 2015, traffic cameras above a railroad crossing captured the moment when an oblivious truck driver rolled across the tracks. It was just after 7.30 a.m. Maybe our driver hadn't had his morning coffee. Despite the flashing lights, he turned onto the tracks and tried to cross. Moments later, his truck vanished. You can see the lights flashing, but in our driver's defense, there were no crossing arms to block the road. He seems to slow as he hits the tracks, suggesting he never saw the train coming. Then, boom! The train T-bones his trailer and carries it out of sight. He was lucky the force broke the trailer free from his cab, or he would have gone for a wild ride. According to reports, the crash happened under a viaduct near the station. The train was already slowing down when our trucker tried to cross. That's why it was able to stop in three car lengths. Normally, these trains keep going and going and going. 
As you can tell, accidents involving trains and trucks are more common than you'd think. Sometimes it's drivers trying to beat the train. Other times, they simply get stuck on the tracks. But how? In many cases, the raised railroad tracks cause the trucks to bottom out. Their loads are so heavy that the back tires can't push them over the tracks. Once they're stuck, they're stuck. Take this truck, for example. The only thing getting it off the tracks was a speeding train. This accident occurred near Willis Street in Sycamore, Georgia. Our 37-year-old driver, Antonio, bottomed out on the tracks. To make matters worse, he was heading to a repair shop after blowing a tire. After this fiasco, his rig needed more than a new set of wheels. Meanwhile, our cameraman Brian was pumping gas across the street. He saw the stranded truck and heard the train coming. Knowing it was hopeless, he pulled out his phone to record. Now, not all train versus truck accidents are caused by stranded vehicles. In many cases, oblivious drivers decided to ignore all the warning signals. On July 1st of 2019, a trucker towed not one, but two trailers across the tracks. As you can imagine, it didn't end well. It's hard to tell if there are any signals flashing that would indicate an incoming train. Our truck driver comes around the bend and begins crossing the tracks. Then, the train emerges from nowhere and smacks into the rear trailer. It's hard to tell in the darkness, but the front cars derailed after the crash. Now, this may have been a case of faulty signals. It's nighttime, so we would see flashing lights if they were going, right? Also, the driver's speed suggests that they didn't think anything was wrong. They either missed the lights entirely, or the signals weren't working. Villa Rica, which translates to rich village in Spanish, is a small city in northern Georgia, about 30 miles west of Atlanta. Police in Villa Rica are in charge of about 18,000 people. It helps when their cameras do the work for them. CCTV cameras outside the police station were trained on a railroad crossing when an impatient trucker tried to beat the light. His decision was boneheaded on multiple fronts. On the one hand, the crossing arms were coming down. On the other, he was surrounded by cops. Our driver keeps moving as the arms come down. A cop across the street throws their lights on just as the rear crossing arm gets stuck. It seems like the trucker attempts a sharp right turn, but gets caught on the tracks. He tries backing up, but he's only putting himself in more danger. Seconds later, the train plows through, scattering the trucker's cargo all over the road. According to reports, the truck was full of raw meat, Imagine all that steak and chicken baking in the hot Georgia sun. Now we've seen plenty of clips of trucks getting hit by trains, but what does it look like from the engineer's perspective? On March 1st of 2010, police and firefighters responded to an unrelated collision in Detroit, Michigan. They arrived at the intersection of John Cronk and Lonyo, where a series of Amtrak rails crossed the main road. For some reason, the firefighters parked their truck, Ladder 13, on the railroad tracks. By the time they saw the Amtrak coming, it was too late. The fire chief didn't understand why his men parked a $600,000 fire truck on the tracks. Four of them jumped in the rig to move it, but they were clearly unsuccessful. This wasn't even the first time Ladder 13 was involved in an accident either. We can't say for sure if the other one involved a train. Amtrak later sued the city of Detroit for $75,000 to repair the damage to the train. Thankfully, nobody got hurt on the train or in the fire truck. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.